Hello and welcome, this is Roofmonger, and in this video we're going to talk about how to do Goku Black's Holy Leg Grenade Loop. Uh, so he can actually solo, no help needed, get more than one Holy Leg Grenade. Now it is tricky and it is somewhat character specific. In that, uh, it works on basically characters Goku size and larger. Uh, slender characters like say an Android 18 or smaller than Android 18, this really isn't going to work on. So use kind of Goku as your baseline and characters larger than him, like you know, Ginyu, Cell, Goku Black, Roly, uh, anyone you know roughly average size or larger, it'll work fine. Anyone who's a slender or small character like you know Frieza or Kid Buu, this isn't going to work. So before we get directly to the actual uh, holy leg grenade loop. I just want to show you uh, if it is too difficult for you because it is not easy I ain't gonna lie to you. It is not easy. Uh, you can do it just fine with the help of an assist So I'm just gonna show you a quick example here using an assist for the combo So there you have it, and that was with the Goku Blue assist of all things. So if uh, Goku and Blue can do it, you know, a lot of characters can, you know, Zamasu, Tien, Vegeta, a lot of characters can do it. So it's not too difficult to get multiple uh, light grenades with uh, proper assist. Now, let's show you just what the uh, double solo light grenade looks like first, and then we'll break it down how it works after that. And there you have it. So why that specific combo? Uh, is it the most optimal corner combo? Well, no, it isn't, right? Uh, the one we just showed earlier was more optimal than that one. Uh, but what the double solo light grenade loop is, is very, very finicky about height. Uh, if you don't do it from a very specific height, you just ain't getting it. Uh, I've done uh, a lot of variations of this loop here, and uh, that's kind of the one I've come to as uh, the closest to being the most reliable. Uh, I've had other ones where I've literally got like one time correctly out of 50 tries, so you know, to me, yeah, I guess it's possible, but reliable, no. So this one here, let's just break it down. First up here, I just showed you with like, you know, a starter, because, you know, if, it, if the combo has to start with this, it's not practical, it's not viable. So it totally works in a proper hit stun, you know, realistic hit stun decay situation. And so what we do here is, you know, kind of the usual thing except for that right there. Uh, so what we're doing here is we're actually delaying the down medium to the stand medium. Uh, this is basically just so we can get the perfect height. Uh, it's not too finicky, just don't be too late like that. But uh, you basically want to be uh, fairly light, so right before they hit the ground. So what you want to do here after we get the correct height is medium light light and then we're gonna double jump again to light light key blast medium dive kick and after that medium dive kick we're gonna dash forward uh you can either dash forward manually or use the forward and homing method i use that just to save uh, a button press personally and then you're just gonna go light light uh key blast into medium god slicer again now this is the thing you cannot light grenade immediately you have to wait a split second and then light grenade so uh, Goku will be roughly around uh, uh, hit your waist or any given character really but remember this has to be a Goku sized character or larger as you can't really get on thin or small characters. So the character's legs as they're falling will be roughly around your waist and if you see that then you know you got it correctly. So just to show it one more time. So once again, as you can see, you know, that's just how it goes. So maybe the B and B starting is not the most optimal corner combo, sure. Uh, but after you get your extra hits after the grenade, obviously the second grenade, you know, that's going to be a lot more than just, you know, the more optimal corner B and B combo into a level one super, right? And also it doesn't end there. Just as a fun little fact. Yeah, technically this video is, you know, grenade loop. Uh, but instead of tossing a second grenade, we can do this. Yeah. 
can also just straight up go for your level 3 afterwards. Uh, so it is, you know, uh, not just necessarily the grenade part, uh, and it allows for a lot of solo uh, corner damage to say the least. So once again, yeah, uh, if you can find a more optimal combo leading up to it, sure, by all means, if, please post it below. Uh, but that's the one that seems to be reliable for me. Everything else where I found out I could get it, uh, it was nowhere in the realm of reliability. And, you know, once again, this is still difficult. If you trying at home right now are going to try this out, it'll probably take you a little bit before you get the hang of it. It's not the easiest thing in the world. Uh, that said, obviously, practice makes perfect, so, you know, hey, still give it a shot, right? But anyways, uh, so it's cool tech. I like it. It's always fun to see a character be able to burn multiple bars by themselves. Uh, you know, that's one of the main reasons people pick this Goku, because uh, he can burn bar uh, by himself, like, no problem at all, because he has the access to basically the easiest uh, double super in the game. Uh, no fuss, no muss, and, uh, you know, there you go, I even dropped it. So I guess there is some fuss and some muss, but whatever, that's fine. Uh, but you get the idea. So, it's cool, try it out, that's all I can really say. Anyways, that's it for this video. So thank you very much for watching, hope this video has found you well. Go out and play some Dragon Ball.